All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a graph. So here's the Fitness Center spreadsheet. And you can see that um, it's got a bunch of data in it. So it's very important that before you start making your graph, you are clear on what is it that you actually want to graph. So say that I wanted to uh, graph these annual fees. And I want to put them on a pie graph. Basically, my pie would you know, be divided into sections. And one of these sections would be for you know the one years. And one of these sections would be for the two years and for the three years and the five years and the 10 years and the lifetimes. So this would need to be my labeling that would be part of that chart. This labeling is what we call the X. So even though this isn't a pie chart or it is a pie chart, it's not a bar chart or a line graph, that is still my X label. This data is what we call a series. And in this case, I'm only graphing one set of data. So I really only have one series. If you had a bar chart, say this was it, and I had some bars here, this set of data, both of those numbers would be my first series. And then if I had a second set of bars, that second set of data would be my second series. All right, so a pie chart, one series only, a bar chart could have many series. And same with a line chart, I could have many in a line. So to graph this then, I'm going to highlight my labels and then I'm going to hold down control and very important, I highlighted downwards in a pattern. So I want to highlight my data downwards in a pattern so that both of those are now highlighted. When I do that, um, now I can build my chart. So I'm going to say insert. In this case, I want a pie chart. I'm going to pick the very first one. All right. And there's my chart. And I will just drag that kind of, you know, out of the way here a bit. I'll put it below my chart. And I'll size it a little bit down so that um, we can see both my chart and my data at the same time. In this case, uh, rather than my labels being on the inside of my chart, you can see that my labels are in a legend. So if you click on the legend, um, up here in the design section, uh, these are just the designs of the chart. But if I click over to the layout tab, I can then take my legend and tell it to be turned off. Now I do want some labels to be turned on. You can choose center or inside or outside best fit. And we will have to go into our label options, but I really like the outside end. It just looks nice. Then you can go into the options and you can see it's actually showing my data, my actual numbers, uh, but it's not my numbers that I necessarily want. It's my labels that I want. So I have to show my category names. And my category names then are those member types that I highlighted from before, that one year all the way down to my lifetime. So they now show. If you wish, you could also put uh, percentages on. And then you could see that, you know, the 10 year members represent 12% of my membership and the lifetime members are 9% of my membership. Still doesn't look very good. It's not really placed the way I need it to, but before I get it fixed up nicely, go into your title and put your title above your chart. And in this case, I probably want to call it fitness center. And it would also be called my uh, membership uh, fee. Actually, that would be an annual membership fee. That's really way too big. So let's take that and let's scoot it down a little bit. Fitness center is probably okay. Now I can start adjusting. So I could take all of these and maybe I could change the font for those just down a little bit smaller. And I can start dragging them one at a time uh, so that they're not overlapping where they need to go. Maybe this one needs to be up here a bit. Maybe this one should be kind of below. I could take my chart, make it a little bit bigger. Now here's another thing. If I click on the chart, you can see how I get all these little dots. If I start dragging that, I'm exploding my chart apart. Where you've got them all, it explodes. If I click sort of outside the chart and I get these, now this is the actual sizing of my chart and I can take it and I can move it and, and I can make it go where I want it to go. So you want to take these labels and you want to move them so that they very nicely fit. So once your chart is looking good, then um, 
you can save it and you can either print it out with the spreadsheet or you could print it out separately as its chart. So that is how you would do a pie chart.